conversion. In this module, you will learn to convert a fraction into decimal and vice versa. Learn equivalent decimals and learn about like and unlike decimals. These are 10 pieces. If I shade 3 out of these 10 pieces, then it will be 3 out of 10. That means 3 by 10. It is a proper fraction. But now, how to write it into decimal fractions? Oh God, I'm confused. What are you doing here, Neil? I'm trying to convert a fraction into decimal fraction. But I'm a little confused. Will you please explain me again, ma'am? Sure, Neil. To write common fractions with denominator 10, 100 or 1000 as decimal numbers, there are certain rules. Let's see these rules. If the denominator is 10, put a decimal in the numerator after one digit from the rightmost column. For example, 3 upon 10 is equal to 0 0.3. 17 upon 10 is equal to 1.7. 346 upon 10 is equal to 34.6. If the denominator is 100, put a decimal in the numerator after two digits from the rightmost column. For example, 3 upon 100 is equal to 0 0.03. 17 upon 100 is equal to 0 0.17. 346 upon 100 is equal to 3.46. If the denominator is 1000, put a decimal in the numerator after three digits from the rightmost column. For example, 3 upon 1000 is equal to 0. 0, 0, 003. 17 upon 1000 is equal to 0 0.017. 346 upon 1000 is equal to 0 0.346. To write decimal numbers as fractions, follow these rules. 1. In the denominator, write 1 followed by the number of zeros equal to the number of digits after the decimal in the decimal number. Second, in the numerator, write the digits of the given decimal number but without the decimal. For example, 0 0.302 is equal to 302 upon 1000. 0 0.05 is equal to 5 upon 100. 4.31 is equal to 431 upon 100. Now, do you remember I taught you equivalent decimals also? Yes, ma'am. I can explain that to you. If I divide this square into 10 parts and highlight 6 out of 10 parts, then it will represent 0 0.6. If I divide this square further into 100 parts, and highlight 60 parts out of 100 parts, then it will be 0 0.60. As the shaded portion in the two aforementioned statements is the same, it means that these two decimal numbers are equal. It also indicates that if there is a zero after the decimal place and there is no number after that zero, then that zero is meaningless. So, 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.60. Here, these two are unlike decimal numbers as they don't have the same number of digits after the decimal place. But, we can put a 0 after 6 here as the value of the number will not get changed. The value will remain the same. This will make equal number of digits in both the numbers after the decimal place and hence make them like decimals. Let's recap. 
to convert a fraction into decimal, count the number of zeros in the denominator and then put a decimal point in the numerator after the same number of places. For example, there are three zeros in the denominator, so we will put the decimal after three places from the rightmost digit of the number. To convert decimal into fraction, count the number of digits after the decimal point and put the same number of zeros in the denominator after 1. The decimal numbers having the same value are equivalent decimal numbers. Decimals with the same number of decimal places are called like decimals. Decimals having different number of decimal places are called unlike decimals.